Since the mark of the beast is much worse than you think, if you look at Revelation chapter 13, this is what got me thinking, and I don't think a lot of people thought of this. You might be very shocked if what you thought for the past two years was really it. You ain't seen nothing yet. It's much worse than that. Revelation 13, 16 through 17 is the famous passage that we all know, and he causeth all, both small and gray, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, when we read that passage, usually a lot of people will say that a mark is something simple as that. You see, it's like a tattoo or a mark on the right hand or on the forehead. But because I believe the King James Bible, that every word is perfect in it, when it says in, I believe that it can be something in. Nevertheless, the word mark means, as it says as well, it could be like a tattoo or something visible that you see. Then it dawned on me, something strange right here. It dawned on me. A mark in the right hand. What if it's something visible that is actually in? A mark can be something that's on the hand, true, but what if it's a visible mark that's in the right hand? Let me see it this way. That way it can make more sense, all right? So, the Lord Jesus Christ, he died for our sins. We know that. The Antichrist is supposed to be an imitation of that. So we know that the book of Mark, for example, chapter 13 and verse 22, it says, For false Christ, that's the Antichrist, in the tribulation, shall rise. And if it were possible, even the elect to seduce. Meaning that the Antichrist is supposed to be a strong imitation of Christ. If it were possible, then he could even deceive the elect or God save people. Christian means follower of Christ. We are supposed to be followers of the true Christ. The Antichrist must have, then he must have people who will be able to follow him. If he's a strong imitation of Christ, he's going to have people who will try to follow Christ, quote-unquote Christian, but they're not really safe Christians, who will try to follow him. Okay, where are you trying to drive at, preacher? Uh, where are you trying to drive at? What's the shocking part? I don't get it. Whoa, hold on now. This might be, <laughs> this might be eye-opening. The Lord Jesus Christ, when he died on the cross, didn't he have marks in his hands? Whoa, uh, think about that one for a while. Weren't Christians saved by the marks in his hands and in his feet and on his side when he died on the cross for us? Whoa. Here's another one, okay? Uh, just wait a moment. Jesus Christ also received marks on his forehead. Now, I'm not saying that he has it right now on his forehead, but when he died on the cross, he had marks on his forehead. They were, would you say, like needles thrust on his forehead for our sins. Whoa, you know what I'm talking about, right? This, uh, it wasn't the crown of thorns like needles thrust in his head. Whoa, what if the Antichrist, when he reveals his mark, because it's his mark, right? It's his mark that he wants everybody to have. And if the saved people were to receive Jesus Christ mark for their salvation, what if the Antichrist was going to give his mark to offer the, word, the world their salvation? Whoa, how about that? Think about it. 
didn't Jesus Christ receive in his hand, would you say, a pointed object that shot through his hand? Whoa! Didn't Jesus Christ receive, wouldn't you probably call it, and it's accurate to say, as if it was like needles being shot through his forehead. Oh, how about that? But this ain't all. This ain't all. It, it gets more wilder than that, okay? So then, the Antichrist, when he gives his mark, what if the mark is given as a promise to heal people? Think about the Lord Jesus Christ. Wasn't it because of the Lord Jesus Christ from his mark that we received our healing? Look at this, Isaiah 53, 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are what? Heal. Didn't we get healed because of Jesus Christ's wounds? Whoa. What if the Antichrist offers, hey, I'm like Jesus Christ right here. And I got the wound or the mark. And it can offer you healing. But uh, look at this one. This is interesting from Wester's 1828 Dictionary, what mark means. Mark, look at this. It can mean a line, groove, or depression made by stamping or cutting an incision. So it may not be a stretch to say that when the unbelieving world receive the mark of the beast, yes, I believe that it can be like a tattoo or something visible, but don't tattoos do cutting on the flesh, and it's visible to see. And then right here, a mark can be like an incision. What if the mark is some sort of pointed object, or like a needle, if you will, that can cut the flesh and it's visible to see? Now, I want to make it very clear that uh, what people think is the mark of the beast when we were receiving some kind of jab or something the past couple of years, that is not the mark of the beast. Make it very clear, that's not the mark of the beast. It's too non, it's too ridiculous. It's worse than you think. It's worse than you think. It has to be strong where it can be closely connected. It would make more sense it would be closely connected to the Antichrist where he's trying to imitate Jesus Christ. I think it's something far worse than that. It's something like a cut, yes, on the flesh, yes, but it's visible to see, yes, and it's supposed to imitate Jesus Christ very strongly. Uh, let me show you something else that's wild, okay? This was eye-opening concerning about Mark. Yes, a tattoo right? But like I said, tattoos, you can receive some kind of cutting. And the Bible even admitted that. Look, Leviticus 19.28, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. What if it's that way? All right, last eye-opening thing, okay? Zechariah 13.6, we know that this is a prophecy of Jesus Christ. And one shall say unto him, What are these wounds in thine hands? Then he shall answer those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. Because of the wounds in Jesus' hands, we received healing. But didn't you know that the modern Bible versions do not say that? These are quote-unquote Christian Bibles, right? Remember, Christian means a follower of Christ. The Antichrist, his goal is to have, quote-unquote, his own Christians that would follow 
Christ, so you will, quote unquote, but it's all false. Because the Antichrist is an imitation of Christ. His followers are imitations of Christians. Mm, this is strange right here. Uh, the other Bibles out there, they're not like the King James Bible, which is the Bible right here. This is the right word. Wounds in thine hands. That's what Jesus Christ had. But modern Bibles, they try to imitate the King James Bible. And the imitation of the King James Bible would say this. So like a new King James Version, which is not the Bible. Look at this. And one will say to him, what are these wounds between your what? Arms. Whoa. So, think about this. What people thought the past two years, the wound that I got in my arm, oh no, that's the mark of the beast. No. No, it's not. But it's an imitation, right? It's trying to imitate. It's paving the way for you, Will, for the real thing on what's about to happen in the future tribulation. Whoa! <laughs> How about that? The wounds are supposed to give you healing. Whoa, the wounds are supposed to give you healing. And past two years, people thought the wound that they got on the arm was it? But no, the King James Bible shows, again, it's supposed to be the wound in the hand. What we simply had was merely an imitation, so you will. Because modern Bibles imitate or mimic or follow, they try to follow the real genuine Bible. Man, how about that? Uh, anyway, these are just uh, thoughts, if you will. Uh, you go home and think and pray about it. See if it's uh, true or false.